Chapter 26, Git Diff. In this chapter, we're going to look at how Git can help us compare different versions of our files. The way to do that is with the git diff command, which you should write with double F because it stands for difference. By default, the command will compare your working directory, that is the file on your system right now, with the staging area. We don't have any changes right now, which we can confirm by running git status. So if we would run git diff right now, it would not give us any info. So let's quickly make a change by opening the feature.md file and change the this is extra commit 2 line to this is extra commit 3. If you now run git status, git will tell us that there are changes in feature.md that have not been staged. Okay, good to know. But what exactly has changed? If you run git diff, git will tell us. The output is formatted like the diff command in Unix and Linux systems. If you've never heard of diff, then this will take some getting used to, but it's not that hard to figure out. The diff does not show the entire file, only the differences. Lines preceded by a minus sign have been removed, whereas lines preceded by a plus sign were added. As I mentioned, by default git diff will compare the working copy with the staging area. If you would like instead to compare the staging area to the DAG, specifically to head, pass it the minus minus cached flag. Why cached? Because in Git, the staging area is also referred to as the cache. If we run git div minus minus cached now, we will get nothing, because we have not staged anything, so it is no difference between the staging area and the DAG. However, if we were to stage a file, the results would be different. So if we run git add feature.md, we now have changes in our staging area. First, let's run git diff again. We get no output, because there are no changes between our working copy and the staging area or cache. If we run git diff minus minus cached on the other hand, we will once again see a diff of the changes we've made, but now those changes are between the staging area and head in the DAG. If you have changed many files, you can limit the scope of the command by including a file or folder name, like git diff feature.md. You can also compare between branches or even commits. Check the output of the git diff dash dash help command if you're curious about all the possibilities.